Hi there, this is MedP. Um gonna quickly give my first first uh, impressions of the Panasonic TA1. Sorry its camera's not on a tripod or out like that, but it's just gonna be raw random footage. So as you can see this camera is compatible with Facebook, YouTube Ready and Skype with a built in USB arm. I can well I can try and show you the USB arm. Um got got I bought this off a friend of mine. Um it's very hard to do this with one hand. So you get this little USB arm. Some people say if you push the USB arm, it doesn't lock into place and it slides in easy. But look, I'm putting some pressure on it. You have to push that down to push it in, you see. And you can see it's made an indent on my finger. Cause so it's a good feature because it doesn't automatically... Because on some cameras, the, like my, the, the flip I had, uh, the USB arm kept sliding in by itself. So it kept disconnecting from the computer. Um... Am I loving this camera? First impressions, yes. Will I continue to love it? Don't know until I've done some tests. Well, basically, in the lens you can see a load of bubbling. Well, hey, I love this camera, the Panasonic uh, SDR-S7. It blurs out the background and keeps the foreground in focus, but as you can see, it's got a load of bubbling. That, that little dot for the microphone. you got a, a light. It's not... Um, a flash, it's actual light, so if I power the camera on by holding the power button on the side you get your landing you'd hook there little speaker uh, somewhere there there's your little speaker USB um, you got your, um, so here you have your battery and your memory card, I've got a 16 gig uh, SD, HC memory card, high capacity, not the XD I think this can up to I uh, have up to a 64 gig memory card. It says on the box. I will put it back in the box and do an unboxing. Um, thank you, Chrissy Center for that was cracking packaging. Couldn't get in it. Um, so I love this because if I go into the so if I go into menu, it's got a webcam feature, and with the webcam features, um, the screen goes off. You connect into the computer, um, and you can see whatever is. Uh, is um, coming from from the lens. It's actually brilliant. I've tested it out, um, and it's well cool. It's not the best of quality, 640 by 480, but it, it's a shame you can't use it at 1080p or 720p or out like that. But you can actually use a zoom on the camera, which is brilliant because because when you press the W and the T here to zoom in and out like this, it actually works fine. To charge it, you've got to turn it off. Plug it into the computer, either directly into a laptop or use the USB extension cable that normally is provided in, in the box. It's full 1080p, 920 by 1080 brilliant quality. Um, so 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Just take pictures. To take a picture, you hold, so you get your picture button there, record button, playback, light, so you get your light there. Whoa, really bright light, turn that off. Um, I wouldn't recommend using the light too much because it will eat your battery, get your delete button, left and right, up and down, zoom and menu in the middle. So, like I said, to take a picture, um, bear with me, you hold the, like a, like a normal digital camera, you hold the button in slightly to get it to focus in, then you continue to press it all the way down, and the little camera thing at the top will go red, uh, the little picture thing. It won't take a picture if you do not continue to hold. It, it does have autofocus only on pictures. 8 megapixel stills. doesn't have autofocus on the video side. But. And it does do a really good job. And as you can see I'm holding it down. I'm not pressing it all the way. And, and you can't actually stay in this mode. Like some pocket cam code. You, gotta, you can actually switch to photo mode. And then just continue to press. It'll go red the little thing and you've took a picture to play back you press that so you get your picture there and you press up to view all other, di other different pictures and that I don't think I've got any videos, yes I have Hi there Chris um, yeah recording, just checking it's recording um, one little thing to get back to the play to the camera you just click the big red button right press menu go to the top one record settings and record mode and you can have 1080p um, I don't have a massive memory card but I've got two hours 
and 38 minutes <coughs> on 1080p. You can tell it's on 1080p because it's there. Um, it's, it's YouTube ready, so the quality is great for YouTube. Loads it back into the menu. Put it. I'll put it back on. There's a thing called iFrame. That's mainly for. Um, what was it for? iFrame. Oh, it's for Macs apparently. So I won't be using iFrame that much because it's for the Macs. And I ain't got a Mac to try it out on. Uh, something to do with Macs. So if I go in 720, and then go back, I have three hours, nearly four hours recording time. So would I give this a recommendation or, um, just on my first impressions? Yes, I would recommend it to anyone. It's a no waterproof camera. Easy to use, easy to charge up, takes four hours to charge up. Um, turn it off to save some battery. I will do some tests. Uh, I would love it to snow and then I can test videos of snow. Um, as as you um, tripod hook information there, made in Japan. Well, actually. Panasonic is in Japan, uh, but it's made in Indonesia. Um, so, yeah, it's really, really, really good camera. It feels all plasticky and that, but it is dead light, light to, to use, and it's just a real, real nice camera to to have. Um, so you got your AV socket there. One downside is it's a HD camera, but no HDMI port. Um, I hope I continue to love it as I do more tests. I've only done little tests here in my house and not really done much. But um, I, I know some people go uh, would be annoyed at this bubbling situation. But um, looking at the video, it does not affect the video. Um, it's really annoying to me. It would be good if we could change the lens or out. But for now, I'll just stick with it because it doesn't affect it. Um, so yeah, that's this has been um, DJ Man or 1234 Mighty Man, whichever you want to call me, or Mighty P or whatever. Yes, it's been Mighty P here. Um, so there you got the model number. It's that easy camera to use, just just like a mobile phone. It's got a really good crisp lens, mono audio, um, so you're not going to get the best of audio. But um, here's a question, I don't know how well it would work in concerts. If you wanted this to take to concerts and record video, I don't know how well it would work. So, but... Um, you'll have to test that for yourself. I can only do certain tests of what's available, but I will be testing the camera out in all of its settings, um, and I will put an iframe setting up on YouTube as well. You may just throw that in there. So if you think my videos are boring, then bug off. Um, I I try to be like Chrissy seventy four on YouTube. Try to make my videos um, similar to his. Try to do video reviews of my tech, and that I'm probably not the best of guys, but I tell you as it is. So it's a real nice camera, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you in the next video, peace out.